Hi, I'm Evelyn Sabina and welcome to our Dream It, Do It, We Can Do It videos. Today we're going to be talking about the binary code and building a necklace based on binary code. First, I'll give you a little background about binary code. I'm not an expert. We will be having some videos about programming and coding and binary code, but let me just give you a little very brief background. Around. The binary code is basically the backbone of what goes on inside your computer. And binary, it's two digits, zero and one, which actually represents off and on. So the binary code, um, each one of those digits is called a bit. And when you put eight of those bits together, it's a byte. And that byte represents a letter of the alphabet. So what we're going to be doing today is taking those bytes and creating our name. So here we go. Now in your packet, you will have received a few packets of beads. You will have received two different colors and you will also have received another packet a little bit larger. It'll be either white, clear, or black. The one I'm going to use today is white. You'll also have received a piece of string. Another thing that you'll have seen in there, but you can put that aside for now, is a little piece of stretchy cord, but we'll put that aside for now. That's for later if you have enough beads left over and you want to make a bracelet. So you will also have received a uh, key with the symbols of our letters of the alphabet and the binary code that represents that. And you will have received a sheet that says write your name in binary code with boxes for your letters and spaces here to write the code. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to do um, let you write your name and I've already done this but you can write your name all of the letters down here and then use the key to find out the matching code. So you can press pause and I'll let you work on your letters, your name. Okay, now that you have that done, what you need to do now is decide, okay, which is going to be one and which is going to be zero. I have chosen that one is going to be purple and zero is going to be yellow. So now I know which represents, which digit represents which color. Now we're gonna to need to do a little bit of math here because if you'll notice, here's a completed necklace and you'll notice that there are the colored beads here and there are the white beads. And in order for this to fit nicely over our head, we needed 100 beads. 100 beads makes it fit nicely over your head. If we just did enough, like for instance, my name has six letters, it would only be this big and would not fit over my head. So what we needed to do is figure out how many extra beads do we need to make up 100. So there's a little formula, and I have some of that information on your sheet for you, but for instance, my name is Evelyn. It has six letters. Each letter has eight bits, so six times eight is 48. So I have 48 beads. That's not 100. So I'll need 100 minus 48 is 52. So I need to put 52 white beads on the necklace to make it big enough to go over my head. But I don't want to put 52 all on one side, so what I'll do is I'll divide that by 2, which is 26. So I'll put 26 white beads first, do my name, and then put 26 more beads. Okay, let's get started with our necklace. Now the first thing we need to do is to take your piece of string and you put a piece of tape on the end of it. The reason we do this is so that when we put our beads on the string that they don't fall off, that we can put them on nicely and they won't fall off anywhere. So as I mentioned before, we need to have our extra beads. You have either the white, the black, or the clear. And you can either do the formula that I talked about, or you can look on the sheet and depending on the number of letters in your name, that's how many extra beads you'll need at the beginning and again at the end. Start putting the beads on. We just thread them through here and let them fall to the bottom. 
All right, next little suggestion. I was thinking about this before. I really highly recommend that you use some sort of a towel or cloth on your table. These beads can just roll off the table, no problem. But if you're having a towel or a cloth on the table, they'll be fine. Now, another thing you can do is you have your, uh, write your name in code here and the zeros and ones. What you could do is you could put your if you've chosen zero is yellow or whatever you've chosen, you put it on there and I would put a purple one here and so on and so forth. And then I'm ready to start threading them. And what I suggest is if you put on your name, you put on the beads that spell out each letter, but then in between each letter, put one of your extra beads. I would put a white one or whatever you happen to have. So just press pause again and we'll be back again soon. All right, now if you have all of your extra beads on here and your name coded, then make sure you put on the rest of you, the other lot of extra beads. And you can pause again if you haven't done that yet. Finally, what we're going to do, now we have to take carefully take off that piece of tape, but make sure that we're holding on to both pieces of string. And then what we're going to simply do is tie a knot. You're gonna do one knot one way, and do the other one the opposite way. It's called a square knot, I believe. Now, this is probably tight enough if you pull this, but if you want some extra uh, security, what you can do is thread your um, string through about four of the beads going this way. Okay, you do that. And then take the other end and do the same thing. you want a little bit of extra security, what you can do is put a little dab of glue on here, let it sit for a while, and then your necklace is ready to wear. Thanks again for being part of our Dream It Do It, We Can Do It videos.